It is uh, April, and we are done with winter for sure. We're having one of our first spring rains out there. There we go. Yep, and it's turning things green out there a little bit. That's good. I want to talk about the, the bedroom today, guys. I'm going to show you exactly what I got going on underneath there and how it really works well to keep the mildew away. You know, I don't have to worry about any of the mold or mildew with the setup that I have. And then I'm also going to show you where uh, I have been fighting a leak forever, but I think well, we'll take a look today and see what it looks like. If it's not leaking today, then it won't be leaking. It happens every now and then, though. And over here on this side, we have the uh, the birds, the busy birds. And uh, this looks different over in here. I've been cleaning this up here a bit. Getting ready to open up the fire pit here and burn some of what I got underneath there. And continue working on the yard out here. There's a lot of yard work to be done. And it needs to be done right away because already the weeds are starting to come up. And I want to change all that into grass or just cut it so that it does not keep coming up as weeds. It'll eventually turn to grass if you just keep cutting it. No kidding. That's what happened with the rest of the yard. How do you like that for a full job, huh? All right, here is the bedroom situation. As I said, and as I often do, this is just made of a lot of different things. All right, this mattress here, which is amazing. It's one of those memory foam ones. Uh, this comes from... I don't know what it comes from. It comes from another from another mattress. And I cut it to size over here. It was being used on another bed. So I'll show you this uh, underneath here. You've got we've got these uh, big like couch seats. These are what I used in the dining room. This was for the other bed that used to be here. Or the dining room area, the chairs that were here that I no longer use like that. So I'm using them up here. Perfect. Perfect size. And you know what? They just about fit perfectly on this futon. The bottom part, or the uh, half of a futon uh, that is no longer being used. And I took this half. I, you know, I took the futon apart and I saved these pieces and and i'm glad i did because that is the perfect height to lift this thing up and give it some air and there is as you can see there is zero zero mold no mold no mold no mold no mold all right that's right yeah and the other thing i did is there used to be the board that went across here and I got rid of that because that also allows more airflow and opens up the space down here so the idea being that now I can walk up into here and this pulls forward goes back I just screwed a, a, a clothes hanger on here or I made it into a clothes hanger I think it was actually for uh, paper towels probably it was in another part of the RV before so I fastened it to, uh, I fastened it to the bed here, to the bed frame, and uh, I'm going to be opening this up too as well. This is all still blanketed up. I I took down quite a few of the blankets. Again, this is a game changer. If you're, especially if you have a conversion van, or you're building converting something, you are going to have a problem with your bedding. If it's, you know, touching a surface of any sort. I mean, you got to really have a serious airflow underneath your bed or you will have mold. I guarantee it. 
I got mold out here in the truck. I did get mold in here. That's because I had a leak over here though. But, and this was right down, I wasn't, I wasn't using this, I had a futon, and it was right down on this, and nope, no deal. Alright, let's see. Pull this up, and you can tell where it was leaking over here. It was leaking right in here, and over in here. But I've sealed it up. It's it's not leaking now. That's good. This would have been a really good test of that. And I've had to seal up there in the corner. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah. That's the bedroom. This is the bedroom. And I'm going to be putting the bedroom back together today. Of course, so I can sleep tonight. All right, you can tell that this hangs over a little bit. Well, not that far. So here's how I do it. I pull them right up to here like that. There's a little bit, a little bit of overhang. But they stay snug. And then what I do is I tuck the blankets underneath here, and it really holds everything in place. So the bedding stays right in place. It's not easy to make this bed. So, you know, every couple weeks... When I go to change the sheets, uh, which I do every couple weeks, uh, it's not. It takes <laughs> it takes 20 minutes to make your bed. It takes about two minutes to tear it apart and 20 minutes to make it. Tim Man is over here. Tim Man, you want to say hello? Hello. Yeah, he's very happy. He's got a full belly, and he's not having to work too hard because. We are at that time of year. What's the temperature, please? Right now, it's 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 50 degrees. There you go. 46 degrees. Um, and it's about 9.30. Maybe a little bit later. I'm gonna make some breakfast. Oh, I got a new frying pan. My other one, I had scraped it all up. So, I think I got one that's <laughs> a little too big. Well, just for such a small place, as you can see. Uh, here, where can I put this where you can see it? It's huge! I mean, here's a can of soup next to it. Alright, here's my... Here's my plate that I like to eat out of. So what I'm thinking is I can get a lot of things going in here at once, you know. There's enough space in there to cook up a storm well, we're gonna be out in that river real soon I'm sure it's gonna go up today but river time is probably within the week here that's the way I see it all right guys I got some work to do here we got to make the bed and uh, clean up the bedroom um, actually let me I'm gonna grab my Vacuum my Black & Decker Dust Buster. I got this last year. And after using it for over a year now, I will say that it is amazing. Here's the best part. Check it out. I just extended that. Look at that. That's great, huh? And it sits easy. So you got, you know, that can get in some small spaces. Put that down like that. There's how you empty it on that, on the top there. I'm not going to do a real review. I just figured I'd show you right now. I've already done a review. If you want the review of it, check it out. It's on my channel. But I'm going to be using that for sure.
Yeah, how do you uh, do this, huh? I guess you move things around bit by bit. Yeah, what do you do with these? Alright, I guess we'll try to put them over here. You learn how to get creative moving your stuff around in a small space you do. Still not easy to lift there, Junior. Now don't knock something over. That's amazing. That extension makes having that extension in there is the only way so that we can do down. Ooh, this would be the perfect time to change the direction of where I'm sleeping. I've been sleeping down at this end, and that's always been great. And I could, you know, look over at the fire and watch it, you know, burning. And uh, But then um, I reorganized this area so that now I have a computer blocking my head. I can't see the fire. And I really like seeing the fire. Uh, so I'm going to try this way. Yeah. And then I can also see the computer from there. You know, if I, I can turn this so that it faces over this way. You know, you just got to get creative with these small spaces, right? So. I've got the bed uh, bedroom rearranged here. So that we have the head down at this end now. You can see it's slightly raised too. Just happens to work out like that, the way those cushions are. I moved the air purifier over to this side. Along with my little basket of goodies here. Just miscellaneous things, including the uh, plug for my computer. Check this out. This is my little bedside, uh, my little bedside buddy. I made this many years ago, and I carved it uh, out of just a piece of wood. It's kind of like a, I don't know. I don't want to call it a war club. It's a peace club, all right. But you know, I keep it right beside, right beside my bed. And, uh, I like it. Hmm. Check that out. That is my front yard, a picture my wife took. All right, we're going to bring some light to this situation here. Got the uh, bed put together here for the most part. A couple sheets put on there. Everything's ready to go. It's looking tidy up there. Uh, I want to open this up. I've got it tacked up with blankets on the sides here and then you can't really see can you at all but there's more blankets there so we're going to just start with this right here we'll start bringing some light in for now I'm going to pull my jackets. Uh, probably we'll be finding another place for them as well. I put those screws in there so I could hang my coats. It's not the nicest looking thing, but it worked. And I'm not much of a craftsman, so. But I really do. Okay, so you can start to see this is starting to open up. I really do like the idea of being able to pull this bed forward and backward. If I want, I can pull it all the way up to here. The only thing I'd have to do is move my purifier, which I'm not going to do. All right, next up, you can see that this has uh, many blankets on it. We're just going to pull them right off. And they're going across 
Ta-da! Bungee cord. Yep. I took, I ripped all of the uh, the sides out of this Toyota so that I had access to all of these little holes, these little places that you can hook things onto and stick things in. I was like, I do not need. Uh, I wanted it. What am I saying? I wanted it to look just like this. Solar blankets. There's the big piece of wood right there that was up here. I feel like Chris. This feels like Christmas, you know, You're like opening up presents and stuff. Okay, why is that being so? Why are you being so difficult over here? Oh. Taped in. Mm. There we go. Fat sides down. So now you're getting an idea of the opening that we shall have soon here. It still, it's hard to get any perspective on this. Okay, we're getting there. I got the other side. I got the curtains down on this side as well. Right, I'll show you this mess that I've created here. Well, all I gotta do is roll up some blankets, put some stuff away. I'm gonna have to get access to the couch here, underneath there for sure. All right, we're heading in the right direction. Yes, we're heading in the right direction. All right, slowly but surely we are getting there. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to put away for the warm weather, weather season here. There's really nothing to get out. It's just putting away the winter stuff. There's a lot of blankets and uh, insulation, the reflectix here. Got to find a place to put that big board. Oh, I'm liking how this is opening up, just having all this light. And now I'm thinking I want to get rid of these terrible curtains and find a better better solution here with that. It just is, yeah, right? Enough of that. It's been long enough that they've been been in here. They've done a great job, but I want more light in here, too. I, uh... I like it. You know, back there right now, it looks like a something about it reminds me of a funeral home. I'm not taking that. Tim Man, how you doing, brother? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, he's really puffing away in there. All right, Tim, keep it up. Doing a good job, a fine job. And outside, the rain is doing a fine job of turning everything green quickly, too. Wow. This is most of the stuff that I had hanging up, all the blankets that I had insulating uh, the RV over the winter. And I got them all folded up now. I'm going to put them underneath the couch here, and I'm just going to move a few more things around, then I'll be able to do that. And a lot of that will fit underneath it there, believe it or not. That's some coats over here that were hanging up though and they insulated too and I'll get rid of some of those because that's just all winter stuff I still have to pull up the uh, reflectix over here which I'm going to do right now all right I made it so that I can get to this couch now and I like having this couch open like this I like having all this area open like this it's a little bit more room yeah, the old Toyota. Look at that, guys. I used to drive this baby down the road. I gotta get this engine fixed. Either get the head gasket replaced or replace the engine. Otherwise, it is in great shape. It really is. I do need some new tires now because it's been sitting for a while. Yeah. We're getting there. Look at all that stuff up there. I have to put a lot of that underneath this couch. It should fit. All right, we'll get back to you on that. <laughs> so one thing I like to do is change up the look in here a lot, often, you know? I mean, at least probably every season I do it, if not even more. And uh, I'm going to switch up the, the way it looks in here with the covering. And 
it keeps this sofa in nice shape when you just throw something over it and it's easy enough to do and the other reason I like to uh, change up is because a dirt accumulates and you can see that you know I need to give this a vacuum and I'm gonna shake those out those blankets out as soon as the rain stops this is the perfect day to do this this is just great To, uh... Oh, another blanket here. This is a good idea, guys. I have one of these insulating blankets that I just put in front of the sofa here so the draft doesn't come through. And that worked really well. Now, I use the table leg that goes over here goes behind me if there were a table there uh, to hold this up how do I do this let's kind of do it like that here's the situation in here now it's nice and organized there's not much in here that bag right there that's my summer clothes so I'll take that out and then I'll just be able to put most of this stuff back into here nice there we go everything I wanted to get into there I got into there and there's still room underneath these to pack stuff open spaces for sure there's a big open space in the back and this fits nicely yeah huh I've got this bungee corded in here because the uh, screw came out yeah you know they Put a lot of this stuff together pretty cheaply, but uh, a lot of you got to figure this thing was 1987 and it's still holding up just fine. All of that up there is going to stay out. Great, this is perfect. Woo! So of course the the great thing about uh, these couches is you can pull them out as well, and. Uh, Mine is not pulling out that easy because, oh yeah, I still have another piece of, I have two pieces of reflector set. There we go. Now that should probably come right down. Yeah. So, I have to put those two pieces away. But, there's the bed. And I'm going to make that so that I can have that available for people if they stay over uh, if I have friends over so or a friend over not friends but uh, anyway I might sleep there too that's pretty easy I'm gonna make this so that it's very easy to get to uh, this setup all right guys I'm ready to show you this place it's fixed up fixed up nicely look at this so I've got the bedroom pulled up right now to the good spot you know but I can give myself I can give myself even more space there if I need it up in here you can look underneath here I've got two coats hanging uh, the driver's seat has a backpack in it and I stuck my little drawer that I had on my sofa right here. It fits perfectly. And I've got extra blankets right there. Um, there's my computer bag right there. Uh, these coats are going to be put probably in the truck. That's my winter gear right there. There's not much. And then those two blankets that I need to shake out that will be used as extra blankets up here if I need them. And I will a little bit more this year. Uh, look at this sofa though, it looks great now. I like the way that looks. Not only that, it's a bed. Right now I can use it as a single bed like that, you know. It's this simple, man. I like this setup. Oh, that's perfect. I can fall asleep right here.
Yeah, this is great. So there's our warm weather setup. I'm going to open up those curtains as well. This area is completely organized. Organized chaos, you might say, but it is right to my likings. Tin Man is still kicking out a little heat here. You know what's weird? For a while, this uh, echo fan did not work. It's hardly spinning at all, and then it just started doing its job again. Tim Man, you got anything to say? Oh, I think he's taking a nap. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, I know it's raining out, right? Nice, nice, uh, dreary afternoon, lazy afternoon, early afternoon here in early April. Uh, over here, the kitchen. Everything's looking sweet. Yeah, this is a 1987 Toyota Sunland Express. I've lived in it for, it will be eight years. This, um, it'll be eight years this May. I absolutely love this place, man. It's not rolling on the road right now, but it will be. Uh, just got to save up a little bit, little bit of money for that. It's either get a new head gasket or a new engine and some new tires. Just because it's been sitting for about three years now. So there's the bedroom, folks. All fixed up. Uh... I suggest a similar setup with a, a you know something that you are have lifted off whatever you have your bed on you know you want to be able to get air underneath there and I got plenty of air underneath there you know all right I'm done with this for now I gotta do some computer work actually you know what I think I will put this video together for you guys so you can see this man all right man have a good day peace out enjoy uh, be productive, uh, be good, and be loved. All right, guys. Peace out, man. Have a good day. We will see you soon. Woo! Yee-haw!